This video will show you how to remove parts of a 3D scan in MeshLab. The two things you need to know are how to use select vertexes and delete selected vertices. And for those wondering, vertexes and vertices are the same thing. Both are acceptable plural forms of the word vertex. In this example, we have a scan or several overlapping scans. So you can see as I make them visible and invisible, you can see the different parts of the different scans. And I want to remove the, the back part. This scan was done as someone was sitting in a chair. So you can see the chair in the back of them. And what I'm doing is I select um, a layer on the right and then I click on the icon for select vertices or select vertexes and then I select an area by left clicking and dragging the mouse across and then I click on delete selected vertices to remove them. Now after I go through each image until I see there's no more spots I'm going to then move rotate the image if you hold down the control key, you can pan or shift the model over. So I'm essentially doing the same process. I select the image on the right, then I click select vertices, vertexes, and then I delete selected vertices, and I click on the next image, select vertexes, delete selected vertices, then click on the next image. And it's very important that you select the model on the right, um, the mesh on the right that you want to actually trim from. Several times I've found myself trimming the wrong model. Um, really important. There's no undo in MeshLab. You have to basically reload um, the file. All right, so there, I've trimmed it off. Now I'm going to save. And to save, you select it and then hit the save icon. This will save that one file. But because there's like eight of them here, it's going to, um, well, seven, it's going to take a while to save them all. So instead of going one by one saving, I just say save project. And there's a checkbox in the bottom right for save all files. And then I hit save and say yes. And you'll see the asterisks next to the file names will go away when it's saved. And that concludes this video on how to trim a mesh. Thanks for watching.